Hi everyone, this is Bruce DePriest in the Channel 3 Early Warning Forecast Center. I've got some uh, new information on Winter Storm Bailey. Uh, we've had a report of five inches of snow in Fairfield. That's in the Fairfield County, of course, and in New Haven County, in North Haven, five and a half inches of uh, snow. So you can see uh, that, you know, we've already had a lot of snow in some parts of the state and it's coming down pretty hard. I'll go back to the graphics. You can see the uh, Winter Storm warning continues until one o'clock tomorrow afternoon for the entire state of Connecticut and a coastal flood advisory is in effect tonight from 11 o'clock this evening until 2 a.m. for coastal New Haven and Fairfield counties and at that time the time of high tide there could be some minor to moderate coastal flooding now when I did the Facebook live um, at 9 o'clock some of you were asking about uh, blizzard conditions and uh, right now we don't have a blizzard warning in effect for Connecticut but I think we uh, could have near blizzard conditions tonight so the definition of a blizzard, in order for it to happen, you have to have for at least three hours a sustained wind or frequent gust to 35 miles an hour or greater and considerable flowing, uh, falling and or blowing snow, reducing the visibility to a quarter of a mile or less. So that's what you have to have to have a blizzard conditions. It almost looks like a blizzard. And, Old Saybrook right now. Look at that wind whipping and the snow coming down sideways. You can see everything is coated up. I'm sure there's blowing and drifting going on there. It's not looking good in Old Saybrook and the New Haven Green. You can see the flag is whipping there and uh, the New Haven Green, while it was uh, green earlier today, it's certainly got a pretty good snow cover right now and it's still coming down, maybe letting up a little bit in New Haven, but heavy snow in Middletown right now. The visibility is poor. Snow is coming down pretty hard in Waterbury. The same is uh, true in Torrington and in Hartford now. We have our heaviest snow of the evening so far, 24 degrees there. Look at Hartford at Brainerd Airport, a quarter mile visibility. The same is true in Waterbury, Meriden, and uh, Chester and Groton. A quarter mile visibility is considered to be heavy snow. Now the visibility has improved slightly in Danbury and Bridgeport in New Haven. Um, with a half mile visibility, but that's still considered moderate snow and it's snowing uh, moderately in Willimantic and Windsor Locks too, up at Bradley International Airport. And you can see those bands of heavy snow, uh, the darker shades of blue, working their way northward across Connecticut. And the snow is uh, steadily adding up. Temperature wise, we're in the teens and uh, 20s, anywhere from 17 in Salisbury to 27 in New Haven and uh, Groton. And the wind is whipping. We got that wind out of the uh, north East, uh, anywhere from, oh, say 10 miles an hour in Meriden to 31 miles an hour in Danbury. So that's why I say we could have near blizzard conditions at times uh, tonight. And of course, uh, the cold is uh, biting as well. It's, uh, you know, kind of a dangerous night, I'll tell you. It's not safe to be out on the roadways right now. And if you get caught outside, you're going to be subjected to these wind chills. Wind chills as low as three in the Litchfield Hill. So wind chills in the single digits and low teens. It is a nasty night out there. Of course, winter storms are absolutely gorgeous, but they're also dangerous as well. You can see there's a little bit of a dry slot trying to make its way into a northern New Jersey, whether that makes its way into Connecticut or not, as it remains to be seen. But uh, if it does, it will only be a temporary lull. Futurecast shows that snow is falling at midnight into tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Finally, by lunchtime, we're going to start to see the snow break up a little bit. And by 4 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, the sun's going to be starting to come out. 12 to 20 inches before all is said and done. In fact, uh, some parts of the state are already halfway there to uh, uh, 12 inches. So 12 to 20, 10 to 16 in the southeastern part of the state where there might be some mixing. So a rough morning commute. If you have to travel tomorrow morning, allow yourself plenty of extra time. Uh, if you don't have to travel, it's a good idea to just wait until the afternoon. That's when the snow will end and the sun will come out, and I'm sure the roads will be in much better shape for the afternoon commute uh, than the morning commute, although there's still going to be plenty of cleaning up to do. And for the shoreline, we'll start out in the 20s and uh, try to approach 30, but it's going to be a tough go as we go through the day tomorrow. And again, uh, tomorrow with the uh, wind, uh, wind chills are going to be in the uh, single digits and teens. So that's it for now. Um, I'm, I'm glad you were joining me on uh, Facebook tonight. It's been great uh, keeping you updated on the storm. And at 9 o'clock, you all had a lot of questions. We're going to have team coverage coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 11. 
And uh, also we go out at four o'clock tomorrow morning with Scott, Melissa, and uh, Mark Dixon will be here. Um, and of course, uh, all the reporters and the anchors will keep you informed and safe, guiding you through a winter storm of Bailey. We'll be on air throughout the morning and perhaps even beyond with the uh, latest weather information. And again, we also uh, encourage you to download the Channel 3 app, which is like having the uh, latest forecast and radar in the palm of your hand. Of course, if you're watching Channel 3 uh, tonight, you get the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, s delays and cancellations, and you could also get those on the uh, Channel 3 app as well. So many ways to uh, get your forecast information these days, which is a, a great thing, a far uh, different story from what we had just uh, you know, a few decades ago. All right, that's it for now. Hope you can join us on Eyewitness News at 11. In the meantime, stay safe. Bye, everybody.